Can I give you some information today, ma'am? Please love your child today, folks. Don't murder an innocent child today. Turn to Jesus Christ in faith, ma'am. I will offer you help. Ma'am, what has your child done to deserve death today? How has your child sinned against you that he deserves to have his arms and legs ripped off from his body? <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. I would, I would like to invite you over to come and speak with me today, sir, about the truth of abortion. About the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. About your reason for coming here to support child sacrifice, sir. Would you be willing to come over and speak with me while you wait? Sir, I would love to challenge your beliefs and your ideas in regard to the murder of innocent children. In regard to the oppression of an entire class of individuals in our nation, in our world, based upon the fact that they are either unwanted or that they are smaller or look different than you and I. Sir, you do realize that you are sitting in the parking lot of a child sacrifice center. A place where mothers and fathers who are living lives of sin and darkness come to do the most wicked and evil thing to their child. You see, sir, you, just like everyone inside that child sacrifice center, We'll have to meet God face to face one day. And you will have to give Him an account for the life of sin that you have led. You cannot say, Lord, I didn't know that I was participating in the murder of innocent children because here I am telling you about it, sir. Here I am showing you the reality of child sacrifice. So, sir, when you stand before God, you will be without excuse. There will be no good reason, no good justification that will satisfy God when He asks you why you violated His law. And yet we have grown so callous and cold-hearted in our existence that we can sit in our cars and look on our phones and play games and have conversations with people while innocent children are butchered in the name of freedom and choice. Let that sink in for a moment if you still have any sense of humanity left in your heart. Consider it for half a second. Get your mind off of yourself for half a second. And consider your neighbor who is being butchered 20 feet from you. Folks, turn away from this place of death. Turn away from murdering innocent children, folks. Thank you, thank you. Turn to Jesus Christ, folks. Please don't come back here. Obey Jesus Christ by faith. Can I give you guys something to take home? Can I give you guys something to read, take home? Hey, love that child. Whoever the, you the father? Yes, sir. It's your duty and obligation to love and provide for that child and his mother. You don't take the easy way out by trying to cover up your sin by killing your child, right? Turn to Jesus Christ. Stop living a life of sin. It's a life of sin that led y'all here today. Only people who don't trust Jesus Christ would ever consider murdering their own child.
so your life of unbelief almost resulted in the death of an innocent child, your child. Consider that. That's a weighty thing, man. That's not, that's not some light matter. Your life almost resulted in the death of your child. Change it. Turn to Jesus Christ and trust Him. All right? All right, God bless you. All right, man. God bless you.